the Zulu people say, Uluazi Luvela Oluandle. The knowledge comes from the sea. Our people believe that many, many, many centuries ago, a race of intelligent creatures of various kinds chaperoned the human race into this world in which we are in exile. And members of this race went into the sea to become what we today call dolphins, amashengeto. Over the centuries, dolphins and whales sent knowledge via dreams to human beings. The whales told us all about God. The dolphins told us all about wisdom and art and other forms of positive creativity. We black people believe that these dolphins are not fishes. They are Amashengeto, the saviors. They are people. They have a kingdom under the sea. They have stories that they tell to their children. And they have hopes for the future. We say that they came with their great emperor, Wawane, from the star called Sirius by the white people many, many millennia ago. These stones in ancient Greece, in ancient Africa, and in other parts of the world were originally used for focusing human thought and for looking into the future. This is what I am doing now. I am trying to visualize the eye of a dolphin and to call it here using this most ancient of objects. Wawane selected Vundu, his biggest dolphin. Vundu was entrusted with a tablet made of gold. The tablet had inscriptions on it, bringing to the lands of human beings the greatest and the simplest law of all. Do unto others as ye would that other people do to you. On this representation of the great dolphin wound are marks which detail important things that are to be found in space. Suns and wells which breed living things. The wise ones of our people, the Sanusis, tell us that all these designs are messages from the gods of the stars to us human beings. This here is the most sacred constellation in the sky, namely Umzingeli. It is the constellation that white people call Orion, which some African tribes call Anansi. A Ndingiru is a craft in which the star gods travel. These are words that one must say when one opens channels of communication between oneself and the stars. They are symbols of the goddess that one must think about when one thinks about the stars. A goddess whose image we must bear in our minds. The goddess Nanana.
these designs represent various worlds and stars which were once our heritage in the cosmos. However, we will not find this world because we ourselves destroyed it many, many millennia ago. In a far eastern country that I visited, I saw flesh being sold in little boxes, the flesh of creatures that I regard as gods and as brothers. Human beings must stop this destruction. It is meaningless, purposeless, and it bankrupts human minds. The killing of these holy creatures must stop. Please stop killing them. Many are the mysteries of Africa. Many the mysteries of my country. Many, many are the stories that are yet to be told. And many more those that will never be told.